So on this particular problem, we're dealing with a triangle, and we're going to have to use the quadratic formula in order to solve this problem. So the problem says one leg of a right triangle is one inch longer than the other. It then says the hypotenuse is 15 inches. What is the length of each leg of the triangle? So the first thing we want to do here is go ahead and just draw out a quick sketch. So we have a right triangle, right? So let's go ahead and draw that out. So we have something like this. We're told that one leg of the right triangle is one inch longer than the other. So we have this unknown length of the leg, and we know that the other leg is going to be one inch longer. Or in other words, x plus 1. We know that the hypotenuse is 15 inches. Okay? So this goes back to the Pythagorean theorem, where we have a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. So again, you could do it like this x plus 1 squared plus x squared is going to be equal to 15 squared. By doing this, we're going to be able to get a quadratic from this, and then we'll be able to use the quadratic formula to solve for x. Okay? So first, let's go ahead and expand this out. So we know that x plus 1 squared, we're going to use FOIL here, right? So first, outside, inside, last, what you really have is this. Okay, and we need to expand that out. So when you do that, you should get the following. You should get x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now we just have plus x squared equal to 15 squared. Let's go ahead and combine some like terms. So we have x squared, x squared, that's 2x squared. And then we have plus 2x. Okay, so we're done with that, done with that, done with that. This is going to be equal to 15 squared. So the last step we want to do is we want to move this 15 squared over to the left side. Before we do that, why don't we go ahead and simplify it down. We know that 15 squared is going to be 225. So we have 2x squared plus 2x equal to 225. And again, we want to move it over to the left side. So we get 2x squared plus 2x minus 225 equal to zero. At this point, we can go ahead and use the quadratic formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the equation of our quadratic right here so we have it. So it's 2x squared plus 2x minus 225. Okay, again, it's equal to zero. All right, so let's go ahead and just erase this. And let's start working on solving this by using the quadratic formula. Again, in case you forgot, the quadratic formula is written the following way, where we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and plug this information in. So we know that our b is right here. That's going to be 2. So we have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of now we have b squared, so that's going to be 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is going to be 2. And then our c is negative 225. This is all going to be over 2 times a, so 2 times 2. Again, when we're talking about a, b, and c, this is referring to a quadratic in standard form, right? ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's go ahead and simplify down what we have underneath the square root. So we have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of. Let's go ahead and simplify it down by plugging it into our calculator. When we do this, we get 1,804. And this is all going to be over 4. Now, we can go ahead and just round this answer to the nearest inch. Okay, we don't have to be super exact here. So we're going to end up rounding this answer to the nearest inch. So what I'm going to do is take the square root of 1,804. So let's take the square root of 1,804. Okay, and we get 42.47. So what I'll do is I'll round the final answer to the nearest inch when we're done. Okay, in this particular case, I'll just round to the nearest hundredth. And then again, my final answer, I'll round to the nearest inch. So I get negative 2 plus or minus, this gives me 42. 
0.47 all over 4. So let's go ahead and do this out. So we're going to do negative 2 plus 42.47 divided by 4. This is going to give us one of our zeros, which is 10.12. Okay, let's do the next one. We get negative 2 minus 42.47 divided by 4. And this gives us negative 11.12. So again, we have two answers here, but think about it, only one of them makes logical sense. We're talking about a length here, right? We're trying to find what x is. That's going to be a length. So it can't be this negative one right here, okay? And again, this is going to be my final answer. So what I'm going to do is just round this to the nearest inch. So what I'm going to say is x equals 10. x equals 10, right? Now, that is not your final answer, okay? Our final answer now is asking, right, what is the length of each leg of the triangle? So this leg here is going to be 10, right? That's what x equals. But now we have to add 1. So our final answer is actually going to be 10 and 11, right? This here is going to be the length of each leg of the triangle. Okay, and that is it.